Shalom family. To be, to be honest with you, when I saw the picture, they, first of all, <laughs> those men look so unkept. And number two, the son, in my opinion, he looks slow. Maybe it's me, but you you know how you look at somebody and you they just got a certain look about themselves and you can tell they're kind of slow. He looks slow to me. Shalom. Pookie and Ray Ray don't always come from the hood, y'all. Mm hmm. They don't always come from the hood. All right. Shalom, everybody. <laughs> mm, they always have one. They have one for Jason Van Dyke, too. Thank you, Marshall Million Films. Thank you. Those things come through so slowly now because of COVID 19. Oh, LVZ. <laughs> what it do, sis? What it do? How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. All right. That's all I need to know. Yeah, I couldn't mess this. You know, I said seven o'clock back. I'm here. Uh-huh. Man, this whole thing is a mess. But I just saw the articles that came out today that said they ain't charging these two bastards with hate crime. You know, it's amazing how our men can get gunned down like a dog out in the streets. It's not a hate crime. But what's going on with Asians? Somebody say something to Asians on the subway. That's all of a sudden that's that's hate crime. <laughs> how is that? Exactly. Even Coon asked Tim Scott asked for the lynching law. I was just looking at that right before I came on. I said, damn, Tim Scott said this should be under the anti-lynching law? Wow. A Coon even spoke up on this one, huh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you for the super chat, Lioness. Love you, Auntie. The son looks older than his father. <laughs> yeah, he does, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the father, yeah, they, they're both a couple of beat up looking hillbillies. I ain't heard nothing about no woman there. I mean, is, is there a wife or a mother or something? I don't even think a woman is there with them. Mm -hmm. Well, if, if she if she is, you know what ain't with her? Teeth. Yeah, <laughs> you got that right. If it's a woman with them, I guarantee teeth ain't with the woman. Mm-hmm. She comes equipped with no teeth. And but, the trailer park smells. Smells fresh. Uh-huh. Now, LVZ, I was saying the sun looks slow to me. When I when I first saw him, I actually <laughs> looked at him. I thought he was a little retarded. You know how I thought you know, was you know how damn have, retarded. Yeah, I mean, he just looks slow. When you look at all of his pictures, even when he was younger, he looks slow. Boy was born. Look, he been retarded. Look at his daddy. Damn, he do though. He look real slow. Yeah, he looks slow. You know, you know how you. Well, that's across that's what happened when you rape your cousin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, when your look, when your life slow, when your life slogan is nothing says loving like marrying your cousin, you right. always gonna have a son that look like that. Mm -hmm. Definitely an inbred. 
Uh, I look, that's a damn. Look at this damn. They arrested him last night because they moved it to another county and the black people all over the world seen it. Stop believing that they moved it to another county in Georgia that wasn't racist. No. 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 They, they moved it to another racist county. Mm -hmm. The thing was, they couldn't, there's nothing you could do about this, especially now. Yeah. Thank you, Metho Nelson, for the super chat, age 34 and still living with dad. Yeah, because he's slow. He's slow. Something's wrong with that dude. <laughs> I'm telling y'all. Something's wrong with him. I got him, daddy. I'm on wrestle with him. Amar was swinging on that bam. I was like, catch him, Amar. Mm. That's the worst thing about that damn video. Because yeah. you, you want him to get away. Mm-hmm. Yeah. These I'm damn terrorists. And then Amar's father came on TV. I mean, it, it, God bless his heart. He wasn't the most articulate man, but he called it a lynching and said it was because he was black. Mm hmm. Come on. Oh, some black guy running. Even when you listen to the 911 recording, the 911 operator was like, OK, now what is he doing? <laughs> you know, oh, he's running. Uh, so I bet you if it was a white dude running down the street, you wouldn't have thought anything was wrong. Hey, it's a nigga. What is he doing? Hey, he's ready. He's All ready. Right. I don't know what you want me to do. LB, uh, uh, he's running. Well, what is he doing? He's niggering and running. <laughs> uh, um, thank you, John L., for the super chat. Did y'all see they made a Facebook group supporting them? It has 76,000 members, them devils in the group talking race, war, and all kinds of shit. Why is it that white people are the only ones screaming race war? You don't hear it from Asians. You don't hear it from Arabs. <laughs> Black people really don't bring it up. We only talk about it because we just see them always bringing it up. You know why they bringing it up? Because they, they, they're in the middle of one, sis. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they look, they letting you know what they doing. Mm -hmm. They letting you know. All we did was exterminate one, and now they want justice. Mm -hmm. Let's have a race. I want you to think about that, sis. Sis, they, they saying they want to have a race war because they killed a black man. Right. Uh, yeah. They don't want to have a race war because we did nothing to them. They mad because we getting killed and saying something need to be done about it. Right. Right. Um, Demetrius, thank you for the super chat. I just received my bulletproof vest, knee pads, etc. And I'm researching guns to buy legally in California. I'm not playing anymore and we should no longer play. I never did. I don't look. My address is still 187. I wish a peck of woods. Um, rest in peace to this brother Omar Aubrey. You know, this is sad. Uh, I understand that's his neighborhood, but I still say, man, see, this is why I can't live around a neighborhood full of them. Mm -hmm. Seriously, it's dangerous. Look, look. Yeah. I see some of these black neighborhoods out here in Upper Marlboro, right, Lisa? Mm -hmm. They nice neighborhoods. I know they predominantly black. Then you'll go a certain uh, a certain few blocks, then you'll see a cop car parked in the front yard. And the first thing I go is, I hope that's a black cop, because if it's not, it's going to be some shit around here. Uh-huh. Yeah, but you know what, LVZ? There are white people running around in gentrified neighborhoods all day and all night. Mm -hmm. And nobody, you know, at least to my knowledge, nobody bothers them. They Lisa, I've seen it this morning. Everything. Damn, Lisa, it's good you brought it up. I've seen it this morning. They was jogging all through the neighborhood. I grew up in, 
I'm like, damn, ain't this a bitch? They just jogging. Move, darky. You in the way, dark dog. Do- jogging <laughs> with their little poodles and shit. I'm used to seeing niggas with pit bulls. I'm saying Sharpays and fucking golden retrievers and dumb shit like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. I mean, but, you know, you see a contrast difference. When when they're jogging down the street, you don't see two brothers from the hood (laughs) saying, oh, oh, you know. Hey, jumping (laughs) on their ass. Yeah, you know. Whooping on there. Oh, here they come. Where they go? Look, why y'all beat them up? They about to put a Whole Foods up. <laughs> what you mean they about to put a Whole Foods up? If that's going to be the end of our neighborhood. We got to get them before they put up this Whole Foods. Yeah, well, we don't go there. That shit costs too much money anyway. Um, CH464, Lisa, I'm proud of you for getting your name trademarked. People better watch how they're talking about you because sis huh. Lisa ain't playing no more. Well, huh. I, I just wish it would have came through sooner, you know. You know, the government, all that stuff. You you gotta always wait 90 years on them. But if I owed them anything, they wouldn't be waiting on me. <laughs> they would want it now. <laughs> um yeah, Starbucks, yep. That, that You know, I hear that from a lot of people in the neighborhood I grew up in that's now gentrified. And they talk about Starbucks being there and they got little shopping malls that weren't there before. Right. When when, when you see a Whole Foods, a Starbucks, yeah, that's it for your ass. That is it. Your neighborhood is officially about to say, next thing you know, it'll be cappuccino shops. Mm-hmm. And Trader Joe's all over the motherfucking place. Yeah. Yeah. Man. And bike riding lanes. What the fuck? I'm going to hit a, the, the next pack of wood. I get my damn way because he riding a goddamn bike in D.C. Oh, man. I can imagine that. They ride all in the streets and everything. What? And then they, they act like they got bumpers. Yeah, I've seen. Hey, don't you see? I'm riding my bike with their little helmet. I hit them and knocked their motherfucker helmet off like they was in the NFL. Mm-hmm. Can't stand them fuckers. Yeah, you know. Um, all right, so I have two articles, and some of y'all might have heard these stories. Um, they had arrest of father and son, but you know, early this morning, because I saw this probably like around eleven o'clock, they were saying uh, white men accused of killing Ahmad Arbery won't mm. face Georgia hate crime charges. You know what? Are we shocked about that? When it comes down to us. You know, they never want to use any hate crime laws, but with the Asians. Not only do they say it's hate crime, they give them a damn hotline to call. Mm. You Cause, know? Cause this, man, next thing you know, they're going to fake like it's aggravated. Look, this shit is this. We've seen it on the video again. But again, I'm, I don't, I'm going to save all my reservations for a verdict. Because, look, we saw with the uh, Jordan Davis case, Mm -hmm. they found Biggie Smalls in these and put her on the motherfucker's stain. And that bitch bitch gave him got him all, look, got him a hung jury the first time. Remember? Yeah, I remember. I remember she looked just like uh, Biggie, too. (laughs) Yeah. And she turned out to be the biggest coon ever. Right. So well, I'm going to wait. I'm going to reserve my energy. Well, to. I'm glad the father ain't come on motherfucking seeing and cooning. You know, I, I, again, he ain't the most articulate brother, but as long as he said what I needed to hear, this right. was race and role, and um, it was all, it was a lynching, and it was because of the color of his skin. Right. And then, like I said, even cool-ass Tim Scott said mm-hmm. this 
supposed to this got to have they need an anti lynching bill for after you see something like this. And I said, Tim Scott, I still I can't stop saying it. Lisa, Tim Scott. <laughs> I hate Tim Scott. <laughs> I hear you, you talk do you talk about tap shoes? Mm-hmm. But they named some tap shoes at the Tim Scott. He's like, oh, those are the Tim Scotts you got on. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, it, it's a long history of them getting charged and then it amounts to nothing. Because, I mean, and, and even sometimes when they get convicted, they get the flimsiest sentence known to mankind. You see that with Laquan McDonald, if y'all remember. Right. Jason Van Dyke didn't even get three and a half years. He got right. under that. Right. So he convicted him and he's off. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so even with a conviction that don't mean the sentence. Look, look, Amber Geiger got a 10 year sentence for breaking into somebody's house and shooting them. Right. 10 years. You know, that should have been a much longer sentence. Exactly. So even when they get convicted, the sentence is always flimsy when it's yeah. one of us. If that's why I say I'm gonna wait to see what happens. You know what I'm saying? Because next thing you know, y'all, we be looking, we out here screaming for justice and all of that, and then motherfucker brother be hugging both of these motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. We don't know. Um, <laughs> like I said, <laughs> yeah, somebody will come off the jury. Can I give him a hug? Yeah, can I give him? <laughs> <laughs> his sister want to kiss one of these people who was on the cheek or something. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. I don't think I can take looking at that anymore. No, I can't. Ha- no. My, uh, man. That shit is just, I mean, this is Marsh D. Crackers was like Jason. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, no. Like you Jason. left out now. Amber Geiger got two hugs, 10 years, and remember, um, the father said he wanted to be her friend. I was about to say, and two friend invites. I was yeah. like, what is this, Facebook? This bitch getting friend invites and shit. Yeah, yeah. They taking her to church and shit. They gonna take her to the cookout, y'all, the picnic, and the church car up. Mm-hmm. Probably when they uh when she get out of jail, they probably gonna help her get a job. Amber God can need a job. Let's help her get a job. Help her get a job. Kill a nigga. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, I mean it's disgusting. I, I like I said, I, I don't think I can take looking at, you know, I probably won't watch the case. I'll just keep up if they happen to broadcast it. Mm-hmm. I'll just how you doing, Tareen? Sorry, what T, what's up, bro? T major in the building. What's going on? Yeah, we we just talking about how they uh said the shooting. They already saying that they're they're not charging him with hate speech. Those two hate yeah, they ain't get this is not a hate crime. I don't know how. But we were talking about how the Asians people are saying things to them out in public, and that's um they're dealing that's with that's a hate crime. crime. They're making yeah, laws now. Saying something to an Asian out in public, that's a hate crime. But getting gunned down by two hillbillies, that's not a hate crime. Hmm. Doesn't surprise me. No. This is that white man. Just think about that, y'all, what you just said, Lisa. This is how bold that white man is, T. Look, he will tell you, nigga, don't say words that I made up. What? So basically, they gonna arrest you for calling an Asian something that they made up. We ain't make a group kink, yellow monkey, all of, they made that up. Yeah, we, that's that white man. Look, just like just like he asked, me, how come I can't say the n word that I made up, nigger, and you can. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but well, the, well, the latest, uh, the latest, the latest I heard before coming in here is that they were denied bond. Okay, now did you did you uh, read about the uh, prosecutor, Tareen? 
Which one? The, the one down there in Georgia that refused to initially even arrest them. The palm colored chick? Yeah. Uh, uh, no, isn't that a man? The prosecutor yeah. a woman? Well, the, well, I think the one that someone was telling me, I think, was a, was a woman. Or maybe it was somebody else. Hold I'm on, not sure. Hold on. Hold on. Let me share my screen with you. I'll show you what I got. <clears throat> the first dude. Yeah. The first dude that wouldn't touch it. He had. He ended up recusing himself. Yeah, because I know that they passed it through three um, DAs. Right. Yeah. Right. They did. But um, where's that DA? This one DA would not touch it. He wouldn't do anything to them. And see, the thing is, is because the dad, what, didn't he used to be a cop or something? Yeah, he's an ex-cop. And, and you know, and uh, Tareen, did you see that picture of him with the, um, here it is, right here, y'all. Okay. Right here. He looks like he comes from a, a, a line of slave owners. Mm -hmm. Shit, he looked like one of them. Yeah. yeah. County prosecutor. He kind of like the dad, though, a little arrest. bit. Yeah, he looked just like the dad. He looked like he could be kin to him. Mm -hmm. And yeah. in that part of Georgia, that shit ain't that far off. They could be. Mm-hmm. Shit, that's why you probably don't see the mother of the son. Yeah, so this is what I saw. Um that initially this prosecutor would not do anything to them. He wouldn't even arrest them. Yeah. Look like some Giuliani shit going on. Well, you know what, look, you know, um, a lot of people were speculating that the reason that they arrested them was because they put pressure, like because the people put pressure on them after the uh video was released, but they also said that when people went out to their house. And was protesting in front of their house. They said some of the people out there had guns, so they feel they arrested them and put them in jail to keep them safe. Well, keep them safe, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? If it had been, but you know what? Had you know, uh, if they were on uh, wise, make sure they don't have a home to come back to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this, let, them come, this let, them, so let them come back to ashes and dust, guys. This was so funny though, Tori. I just found out because they talk about some burglary. That's that George Zimmerman shit. Yeah. Come to find out, it was never no burglaries reported there. But see, that's just the new thing they start saying. That's the new Zimmerman thing. I'm yeah. telling you. That's why yeah. I said that. And, and, or they'll tell you, you look like a suspect. That's another uh, big one they like to say when and they're they, encountering they, somebody. They, 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 you, you know, they love to do citizens arrest, but here's the thing. In order for you to do a citizen's arrest, a crime has to be committed. You can't suspect or be suspicious of a crime being committed. You actually have to see one happening. They didn't see nothing happening. They just saw they just saw a black they just saw a black man jogging down the street. Right. Even the nine one one operator, because I played the call on my live stream yesterday, and the operator was even saying to him, "Well, what what did he do? What did he do?" And he never answered. He was niggering around like yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 niggering and shit, you know. And he never did answer the 911 operator when she said, Well, what is he doing? Exactly. You know? You know, he said and my sister, cousin, slash wife, the death was his black cop running around here. Mm-hmm. And he said, it's a, it's a black guy running down the street. Okay. Um, when did it become illegal to run down a street in America? And, the thing, and, and then on top of that, they, said, they claim that um, like the house that he was going to uh, was under construction. What was right. he going to take? Well, a piece of print of wood? Yeah, that's what I said. A, a nail? Like some tie back paper? Yeah. I mean, if it's under construction, and I'm sure there was not much in there he could take. What? What was he going to take? A, a plank of wood? <laughs> I mean, what was he going to take? Exactly. And and that is not our nature to go look. You know, remember when they said uh, George Zimmerman was claiming that 
Trayvon was looking through uh, windows and looking in home windows. And we don't go around doing that. Meanwhile, I don't know if y'all heard not to change the subject. Um, VZ, you probably heard about this one because this happened in Georgia, too. Meanwhile, Shannon Brown, the basketball player, got put under arrest because this couple just walked up into his house because they thought he, it was up for sale. And he pulled out his gun and started shooting at him. <laughs> Damn right. You're just walking by skit. Right? Well, how, what happened to stand your ground? It doesn't work for black people. Yeah. I swear. I swear. I'm trying to tell you. Hold Every up, hold time. up, hold up, hold up. You talk about basketball, Shannon Brown. Yeah. Hey, that's a setup. You know he just beat Milwaukee police for getting his ass whooped. But I mean, his brother had just beat Milwaukee police for them getting his ass, his ass whooped, right? I didn't know about that. That was his little brother in Milwaukee, the Milwaukee Bucks player mm -hmm. that got beat up. That's Shannon Brown, little brother. Okay. That's a setup. Yeah, I mean, I, I, we can't doubt anything at this point. But yeah, so a couple walk in his house and he ain't supposed to do anything about it? They claim that they were coming to see a house that was up for sale. I'm like, well, if the house was up for sale and it was a sale sign, there's a number on there that you could have called. Right, you could have called the number. number. You called the realtor and you make an appointment to go see the house. And then on top of that, like the whole story just didn't make any sense because who goes to look at a house at the time that they were going? Usually you go during the day. They right. was there in the evening when it's dark. Like who goes to see a house oh, that late? No. And, and then they said when he shot the gun, they said that he shot five to six times. But when the police got there, they only found one shell casing. Okay. So, so he just did that to get you away. Yeah, he wasn't doing it to in, to kill him. He was doing it to scare them away. Right. But he gets arrested for it. That's South Carolina, right? That's South Carolina. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Sterling um, Brown. Yeah, Sterling Brown. He got, he was standing the police was like, get on the ground. It was like, for what? I ain't do nothing. For what? Then they shocked him and hit him with uh hit him with the taser. Then messed him up. You know, a lot of NBA players them that assaulted by police. Yeah. Yeah. Cause you know they quote unquote fit the description. Tall, black, you know, the usual. Shoot, the dude from Sweden got his leg broke. Mm -hmm. And ain't never been the same since. No, Dabo, Dabo it, it's a jealousy thing. Trust me. Never been the same oh. since. It's a jealousy thing. You know, my dad used to say that, too. He said, you know, it seems like they go after all these black athletes and you, you rarely hear them going after a white athlete. And he said, and when, well, you know, what they don't get high and party and drive drunk. They don't do that. <laughs> yes, yes, and yes. Mm -hmm. Tom 10. Yeah. See? You know? You know but... what I need to know after this? This is what I need to know. I need to know Gregory Michaels police record. Uh-huh. I need to know his record. I need to know how many people he's killed in the line of duty that were black. Mm -hmm. I need how many arrests he's made of black people mm -hmm. in the state of Georgia because it's clear that he has a bias. He believes that they're guilty no matter what they do. Right. And he's lived a long, lucrative career as a police officer, 30 plus years, right? Mm -hmm. As whooping niggas' asses and fucking niggas up. And I need to know who and what and what happened. Right. And his son, too. I mean, his son may have all kinds of crap in his background. Yeah, he might be a little Zimmerman. I, I guarantee you he a little Zimmerman. He, the fact that he run around with his dad and a gun, he's a little Zimmerman. Mm -hmm. I guarantee you. He a little wannabe cop. His dad spent his... I, look, look how easy this guy is to profile 
the uh the son that he's a little Zimmerman. Look, he's a uh a, a grown man that lives with his dad. Mm-hmm. His father had a a long career in law enforcement, mm-hmm. and he probably wanted to be his father. He carried guns. I mean, that's a lot of George Zimmerman right there. Yeah, there's a lot of similarities between the two yeah. cases. Yeah. And and then for real, who called the police? Travis or Greg? Wasn't it the father? I believe it was the father on the phone with the cop, with the right. operator. And I bet you Travis the one that told his father, hey, dad, it's a nigger jogging through the neighborhood. Mm-hmm. I bet you Travis was on his Zimmerman. Yeah, but you he, know, he there, dropped there, that there, news line and was ready to go. Yeah, mm-hmm. but there's also the third guy that filmed it, you know, that was recording yeah. it. Right. And who the fuck is he? And why is he exempt? He just saw a murder and they just let him go. And he didn't even flinch. Exactly. You know? That's that's when the suspect when the suspicion really um went up about him because he didn't like act shocked or surprised at what he just witnessed. Like any person who will see something like that, you will expect some kind of reaction out of that, out of pure shock, because that's not something you see every day. Mm-mm. But they were so calm with it. They were so quiet. They were so stupid with it. Because family, feel me, they would have got away if they ain't recorded. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and right. you're investigating that too. You know, I, I think they could care less whether that black man was killed. They're more interested who the hell leaked it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, it they didn't want that out. You can tell right. they never wanted it out. Um, United Black Nation, stop typing in my chat. Uh, stop talking and take action. Get out of my damn chat. Nigga, you need to start taking action. You, 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 you look, action, hold up, you Lisa, Lisa, action? Lisa, let me get this, mother. All right, you can have this one. So you sitting here telling us, stop talking, take an action. As you're sitting there, digging up your ass, <laughs> with drawers you didn't wear for three weeks, the skid marks are so tough in that motherfucker, look like the Indy 500 then drove almost the quarter to the last lap through them motherfuckers. And you sitting there digging up your nose, breath smelling like farts and corn chips, talking about we need to stop talking and take action. No, you need to stop talking and take action. And the action I need you to take is go swallow one of them toilet fresheners. One of them blue (laughs) toilet fresheners. That's what you need to do. He just mad because when he put his mask on, he finally realized that his breath stink. Breath stink. <laughs> and knocked himself out, right? <laughs> you know you got bad breath when motherfuckers mad at you texting. Your breath so bad we don't want you to text. Rust the ass. It's always niggas on flip phones. And T Mobile sidekicks out here talk about take action. Make okay. it upgrade your phone. <laughs> uh huh. You know, you always got one of those that show up when you're trying to discuss, you know, a current event. And they're like, oh, well, what you going to do about it? I mean, look, what are you going to do? Oh, I get those comments all the time in my comment section when it comes to stories like this. This is why sometimes I don't like talking about it, because those are the kind of comments I know are going to show up. Yeah. Yeah, it never fails. Mm-mm-mm. Bam ass nigga. Anyway, <laughs> like we were saying for this bam ass nigga come through here with this bullshit. We, look, the, the guy comes through here and records a murder, he gonna get some type of uh, amnesty. That's what he... he. I don't know how they leaked it or how they got it out there, but trust me, he was gonna get off. They were gonna say he was jogging and he got aggressive, started fighting him, had the gun, took it away. Look, they that why you think they let him go home? 
They already did the Zimmerman to him. Yeah. Only thing they didn't do was take pictures of him getting his head banged in the ground. Mm-hmm. That's the only thing they didn't do. They didn't do what Zimmerman did, bang his own head in the ground. Yeah, well, he shot Trayvon because that 17-year-old was getting the best of him. Yep. You know, that's he why. He with the straight right. Look, dude was going to get the best of him because fat boy, look, Travis was getting that work put on. That's why you heard all them shots. So he yeah. was swinging on Travis' ass. But when he, he, I seen when he got him, I said, fuck. He got it too close, far away from his body. He got too far away from him. He had to stay close on him. Yeah. Because the father had the 357, and he couldn't shoot him if they was in a tussle. But them cowards would have tried to shoot him in the back. I mean, yeah. that was just there to kill a nigga. That's all. I mean, come on. It, it wasn't it, no way. It, that, that's what I'm saying, y'all. Yeah. Some of y'all live in these po dump, hick ass spots like that where you got them country roads. And don't think I'm knocking you like you live in some state. No, they got shit like that in Maryland, too. And I don't suggest you jog down that shit. Mm hmm. Yeah. I mean, we got places here. You know, our little hick plate, that's the Pine Barrens. Those people that live around the Pine, those, those are your nuts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my state. Yeah. yeah, all the hicks that live like in Maryland, they live like in Northern Maryland. Like, if it's not, listen, if it's not PG County or uh, the Baltimore in the city more so, may yep. well, maybe Baltimore County as well. But outside of that, like all of the other stuff, like anything in La Plata, uh, uh, Howard yeah. County, the northern part near the mountains, that's all the hick area of Maryland. Everywhere else is mainly pretty much black. And Tori, even though that's where my people come from, they migrated from up that down that area here. The people near the water, near PG County, near here. Yeah. People that live near the beach, like North Beach, all that. It ain't nothing but clan territory up there in Calvary oh, yeah. County. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Metho Nelson, if he wasn't de uh, developmentally challenged, I'm sure his dad would have got him a job in the force. <laughs> it's clear he couldn't pass the certification. Yeah, I think I think something's exactly. wrong. Exactly. That son, that son looked like something ain't all there, you know? And like, the same thing with George Zimmerman. We don't, we don't want to get to him, but I always said that in front of me. I said, he looks slightly retarded. That's he why he, like, he didn't have it all together. Yeah. That's why I can't pass no test. This one just apparently retarded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You, yeah. You, they, they look like they were born out of a, um, out of a, uh, what's that thing called? A, um, a sardine can. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. You know what they look like? Maybe it's because I've been watching a lot of, they look like every father and son murder duo, duo in a serial killer movie. They look like two men that the uh, look that I'm just oh, I got it paused on my phone. Lisa. The screenshot of these two while I'm looking at the chat room, and it looked like I said for real. It don't look like this dude ever was a cop. It looked like they finally caught serial killers that was had 21 women in their basement. That's what they look like. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. They don't look sane. And I was like, this motherfucker was a cop. But then when they said where he was, I said, yeah, they got cops that look like that out there. There's killers, too. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's all they are. What's that? And I'm going to tell y'all something. Y'all better look at his record. Look, yeah. I'm telling you, you know what cops are like him famous for? They famous for this. I ain't out here caping for them, but they famous for killing them Hispanics because they ain't got no papers. Mm hmm It was a cop in Florida that, that disappeared a black man and a Spanish dude like that, but he ain't had no papers. They couldn't find the Spanish dude, but the black dude, they was on his ass. 
they still never found a black dude, but I'm serious. They they famous for that, y'all. Mm-hmm. They known for disappearing motherfuckers. These type of motherfuckers disappear people. Yeah. So this ain't yeah. this ain't the first time they to chase down a black man. They, come on, look how bold they did. It. They they just recorded it this time. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. wasn't no hesitate. Like you said, Lisa, think about that. It wasn't no breathing, like not no, all right, look, they, they got him. No nothing. It was like, okay. It was like recording people throwing a frisbee. Right. Yeah. I mean, look, they were free all this time. And if this video didn't come out, they wouldn't have done nothing to those two. Exactly. They wouldn't have done a thing if this thing didn't leak. Because look at how long it took for us to learn about the story itself. It happened back in February. February. We didn't learn about it until last month. Right. You would have thought the way that is being pushed now that it just happened. Like mm -hmm. last week at least. Yeah. Gregory Thomas, if that was the truth, why are we campaigning about it right now and help get them, you know? I mean, part of the reason that this dude is in jail is because we care about each other. Shit, I don't live in South Carolina, but what happens to him happens to me. Mm -hmm. So miss me with all that. We don't care about each other. All this. Nah, this ain't about. Only thing this got to do with black people is that. It's a force here that wants to eliminate us off the earth. This is the only thing that black people got to do. That's the only thing this got to do with black people. Mm -hmm. It literally was a trinity that happened. Now, the, what happened with Amar Aubrey, that happened back in February. But then you had the two incidents that happened this week. The one that was in the one in. um, Where was that at? Uh, the one with Sean Reed yeah. that happened, yeah. then the one with Doug Lewis. Both of those happened this week. Yeah. And man, that was that was just screwed up what those cops said about Sean Reed. Oh, they can't have an open casket. <laughs> I was like, oh, these people ain't no damn good. Mm. But see, those are the kind of cops they like on the force. If they didn't like it, you wouldn't see it. That's how th they like these crazy, psychotic, over the top killing machine kind of guys. That's what they want. What if them black cops that were shooting at that white dude, that white felon who was a felon? You know, Sean Reed ain't had a, the length, the lengthy record that this this white dude had. Mm -hmm. the, the two black cops in Louisiana shot in his car but killed his son by accident. And they gave him them both 40 years. Yeah. Now, what if they say, oh, yeah, I hope you got a box big enough for this little motherfucker here. Mm-hmm. I see someone on some... Yeah, who is just, Doug Lewis? Okay, Doug Lewis, that story is basically um where you had... It was a black guy, that was Doug Lewis, and this white guy. And he got into a fender bender and they basically got out of each other's car and they started going at it with each other verbally and talking about the insurance and whatnot. So what happened was Doug Lewis got back into his car and after they thought they handled the situation and he started driving away. The guy that he got into it was started to follow him because you. I've always said when it comes to road rage, nobody's doing it like they are. I'm And I mean just that they will follow you to another state. They will follow you into another. They will cross state lines until they deal with how with deal with <laughs> however they want to deal with you. Uh -huh. So they so he followed him. Doug Lewis stops and he gets out of his car and he confronts the guy like, "Why are you following me?" Then the guy all of a sudden fears for his life, pulls out his gun and shoots Doug Lewis dead right outside of his window. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. Look, so you can follow us. Home and kill a Dale say that was in Minnesota. Oh, yeah, that's Minnesota. <laughs> yeah, the home See? of the Clark. <laughs> See, this coronavirus right now, it, it'll give them time to do stuff like that, too. So that's what I'm telling people, man. People got to be on guard. Everywhere you go, 
at all times the black people. Yeah. You know, no doubt about that. White supremacy has killed more Negroes than the coronavirus. You you trust me. Trust and believe. The mm -hmm. white supremacist virus. I ain't saying the coronavirus ain't real. And I ain't saying I'm not wearing my mask and gloves and keeping my hands sanitized. What I'm saying to you is you need to be masked up and gloved up from that white supremacy too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's the truth. Reminds me of Hannah Payne. Mm -hmm. Did last year? Yeah, yeah. Now that picture's well, them on her business. She, she was, she was trying to play super bitch. That's what she was trying to be. Mm hmm. And they told her dumbass not to follow the guy, and she just, she didn't want to hear nothing. Uh uh, no. Like, how dare you? You're not gonna tell me. I'm a, I'm a do, I'm a throw on this cape, and I gotta go save my. Palm colored brethren from this big black old boogeyman. Mm -hmm. From this 98 year old paraplegic damn near man. Imagine that man lived his entire life seeing all of that and he had to meet his fate at the hands of this chick. Yeah. Yeah. It w Do you know when her trial was coming up? Yeah, her trial was coming up, but they pushed it back because of this virus. Oh, okay. Yeah. So they allowed That's her to get what I'm worried about. Room. How okay. much of these motherfuckers is going to walk and little slick shit going to happen because of this virus? Yeah, I don't know. Well, maybe if, well, maybe, well, maybe if they walk, they'll walk right into the woo-woo. Mm -hmm. And there won't be a trial. Right. Because you told me they let Harvey out already, right? Yeah, I mean, they let quite a few people out already. I mean, they let Michael yeah. Avenatti out, but they said, don't go too far. We're going to put this thing on your ankle. You bet <laughs> nothing about crossing state lines. We'll see you in August. <laughs> That's what they said. Yeah, and, and, and Bill Cosby, they, they still won't let him out. And they still bringing up some crazy, bogus charges against R. Kelly. I'm like, how are they finding a way to bring up these charges against him that we know ain't even true? Well, in it, a it would have made more sense getting him 25 years ago. <laughs> okay. yeah. Now you want to get him? Right. They should have rolled with Michael Flynn. So let me stop. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I heard about that. They dropped all the charges. <laughs> I said, damn. I was mad as shit. But I was like, why are you mad about Michael Flynn? What they got to do with black people? I said, nigga. You know how many niggas then actually played guilty shit to the shit they didn't do just to get six months, four months. I said not to just have the government go in, look at the shit that they did, that they admitted to, and then went, nah, that's okay. That's good. You good. We saw it. Like he was the motherfucker. Uh, like he was the brothers from the Central Park. Yeah. <laughs> they act like he was one of the Central Park Five. <laughs> I just dropped that shit on Michael Flynn. Like, Ain't nothing happening. That, that shit was wrong. What they did? What their job? That's what they did. Shouldn't have done. Yeah, I wish they did that to every black person. You know what I'm saying? They, I wish they did that to my uncle. You didn't have no cocaine. He <laughs> was just. Uh, he was just doing Ronald Reagan's work. Right. <laughs> it was, it was, it was <laughs> this was, look, this was Ollie North's package that he had. See, would have, my uncle would have, look, he would have enjoyed that 16 years back to fuck home. I tell you that much. <laughs> uh -huh. Man, man, oh man. And I said early on when this virus broke out, I said, watch. The day that I found out them fools were saying that they were going to use this virus as a bioweapon against people who weren't white, I said I called it then and said that they're not taking a day off. And they're not. No. No, they haven't. And we heard that. When was that? Back in March? Yep. We are hearing that? I think, I, I think we was about two weeks in when that happened. Mm-hmm. They were going to try to give it to as many people as possible. 
And, you know, I'm not surprised. I mean, when did, look, if you look at their beginnings, they've always used some kind of virus or disease as a weapon. Exactly. You know, and China too. You look at their history, they did the same thing. They used disease and even drugs as a weapon uh, on their own people. On their own people. I was about to say they did it on their own people. Yeah, they sure did. You know, yeah, that's the thing. But the thing is, as long as they know they can take many of us out, they don't care how many they sacrifice. Look at the statement that many of these state officials have been making over the last couple of weeks, like Lieutenant Dan Patrick. Oh, Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick down oh. in Texas. Well, well, there may be some sacrifice and that will have to be made. We have to open reopen the economy. And that's how many of them think this guy said he would sacrifice his family. To open up the economy. So said, if they, they will sacrifice their family, what did they say about you? Yeah, he said there were more important things than living. Yeah. <laughs> when he said that, I had to chuckle a little bit. <laughs> I'm about to say, now, how could a motherfucker? He said he believes in God, but then said that. I said, damn. See, a lot of good church did this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. That one, that one fucking said it's well, some stuff more important than living. I was sick. I ain't figured that shit out yet. I was like, damn, what? Mm-hmm. What? What is it? Well, what could it be? The first thing he said was the uh, old people in the country should sacrifice themselves. Hey, meanwhile, <laughs> he owed himself. <laughs> yeah, he owed. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> and then try to say that don't make me tough or nothing. No, it don't. It make you an old Bama talking that dumb shit. We need to put your ass in one. Of the, we need to put you in one of the rest homes that got COVID and see if you keep talking that shit. Uh-huh. Man, you know my aunt died. Um, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Years that. Years ago, and she was in a nursing home, and believe it or not. Everybody around her had COVID nineteen. She didn't have it. She didn't have it. She didn't have it. Yeah, I'm about to say, uh, I'm about to say, Auntie just passed from being in that motherfucker too long. Yeah, well, she was eighty six, so she just. That's what I'm saying. She was big. She was there. It was time for her to leave. Yeah, but they they said you know they had tested, and the last time she was tested, she didn't have it. But the patients all around her had it. Yeah, <laughs> dang. That was it's gonna be sayonara for a lot of them, and then it's fucked up in New Jersey. Is it New Jersey, Lisa? One of them states they not allowing you to know who got it now. Uh, Florida. Yeah, Florida. Yeah, oh, my, they won't even let you look. Ain't no. <laughs> and we know no, they. We know why they're doing that because they. It's not here. Seat. That's why they doing that. They don't nobody got it. Everybody is cool. Mm-hmm. You're good. Yeah, but then you That's still cool. also got them fools down there. You know, and I say let them do it. Let them go ahead and ingest and digest disinfectant. Did y'all hear about them two guys down in Georgia? That one that made that cocktail. He mixed pine, <laughs> he mixed pine salt, pain meds, mouthwash, and disinfectant because he thought it was going to get rid of the woo woo. Meanwhile, he didn't even have it. <laughs> right. Wrong. Yeah, but I, you know, I did an article on that, and people were gargling with bleach. They were doing all kinds of crazy shit. Why are they doing all that, and they don't already have it? Though everybody, Tori, just like the motherfucker that uh, ate the fish. That uh, Lisa and True Royal was telling me about that they took the fish medicine. He didn't have it neither. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't uh, have because, it because those are the marching orders of their leader. Yeah, yeah. You know, the, you know the smart one that lives near us. <laughs> yeah, the guy's like a big a a, a brain. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. That nigga said he got like a big. Uh, the brain. Mm-hmm. But y'all, thank you for the condolences. Thank you. You know, it's hard because they're cremating my aunt next week. And mm-hmm. my cousin said he ain't going to do nothing but just bring her home to his house. 
because you can't have a gathering right now. Yeah, you right. can't have nothing. Yeah, you can't have nothing. So she gonna be up on the uh, probably on the mantelpiece for quite some time because <laughs> he can't even have a funeral for her. I just seen him try to have a funeral right here at that joint off Southern Avenue. Some key, a bunch of youngins was. It must have been a young dude that died because they. It's all a bunch of youngins with masks on, riding around in charges, going down there to the uh, following the uh, funeral joint. Yeah. I said, and it was it, it was wild because I'm looking down at the because as you drive by on a uh, shooting road where we live where we live at least you can see the funeral perceptions going on. They were social distancing in the funeral. This mother was suits and masks on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well see, you know, it, like many states, my state, you can't have no more than 10 and yeah, that's how it is, yeah. gathering in a crowd. And for funerals, they don't want nobody there but immediate family. If you're not part of the immediate family, you're not even allowed to be there. Yeah, they yeah. do it. And they do it like in a virtual way. Um, so they'll have like the they'll set it up maybe through like through the Zoom app, which is one of the apps that people have been using a lot lately when it comes to stuff like this. And they'll just set it up on a camera or maybe on a laptop or something. So you can watch it from the link that's sent out. That's how I was a couple of weeks ago for somebody who I know who um, recently passed, mm -hmm. and that's how they had, and that's how they had to do it. Yeah, yeah. And here, if you um, it, when you go to the cemetery, you have to stay in your car. You can't stand by the gravesite anymore, but you can watch them bury your loved one. But you got to remain in your car. So that's why they was all in them charges like that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Cause yeah. I seen people outside of the uh outside of like their cars, but they was about a limo. They had like masks and suits on, but it wasn't a lot of people. It was just a bunch of cars coming in. Yeah. Dang, this shit crazy. Mm-hmm. Welcome to the new normal. It is. It is. And you got these folks out there screaming and hollering at the Capitol and all these states talking about open up the beach. I was like, that ain't even important. Right. Open up the beach. Let's go golfing. Let's do motorized boating and all that other stuff. Yeah. I mean, it's not even important. And then they argue with AK-47s, though. Yeah. Yeah, they sure are. Now, the they did pick it out here in New Jersey, up there in Trenton. Mm -hmm. And the governor just completely ignored them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he completely ignored them. And the I think like two days later, he announced that he was doing the um, stay at home for another 30 days. He didn't pay them protesters no mind. He said, yeah, uh, that's what, hey, actually, that's the fat ass governor uh, of Maryland did too. He let all the motherfuckers go out there to Annapolis like, uh-huh, motherfucker. School closed for the year. <laughs> yeah, I think right now they just like, they, many of them are just like fed up with a lot of the people. So they're like, okay, y'all can go ahead and do what you want. But guess what? At the end of the day, I have the final say. Right. Right. And speaking of Lisa yeah. and LVZ, did y'all hear about that story about that hair salon owner in Texas? Yes. Woo. Why are they making this bitch a hero? Listen, I don't listen, know. I got the full I got the full scope of that story today for the first time, even though it happened a couple days ago when I was listening to a live stream. And let me tell you something. If y'all did not believe that palm colored privilege was a thing, y'all, those in the chat who have never heard of that story, need to go and read up on that. And I mean read up on it thoroughly. If you did not believe that white privilege was a thing. Even in the midst of this pandemic, look yep. up that story in particular. And then after you do that, I want you to go, fuck me too. Fuck they mean women ain't got no, white women ain't got no rights. Gee, look at this here. Right. 
Uh, okay, Junebug. Uh, Stephen Miller's wife tested positive. They didn't say anything about Stephen. Wonder if he's sick. Well, chances are if he's around his wife all the time, he probably got it. Nah, you said Stephen Miller's wife? Yeah. First of all, Stephen Miller already looked like he got it. And <laughs> whatever it is, Stephen Miller looked like he got it, first of all. Second of all, have you seen Stephen Miller's sis, Torian? Yeah. Huh? Have you seen Stephen Miller? Not recently. Well, period. Have you seen him? Yeah. <laughs> I can tell you as a man who's been around enough women, even if she is his wife, she ain't been around him enough for him to get sick. He okay. He's fine. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, easy, be easy. You call the governor Larry Hoagie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what his fat ass is. Well, how tall is that man? He looked awfully short. He is a little short, stubby, fat. Yeah, kind of reminds, kind of reminds you of Oswald Cobblepot, aka Penguin from Batman. He tell her half the truth. He ain't telling the truth about the unemployment. Ain't nobody getting paid. Motherfuckers got cards and no money. Well, you know, they said the same thing in Florida. They said the majority of the people that are applying for unemployment are getting turned down. Oh, that too. Well, why would you turn people down? They're not responsible for why they're not working. Right. That's not their fault. That doesn't make any sense. Hey, they, look, they called me back. The governor's office called me back because I called them and I cussed them out. And they called me back and told me that they're going to try to get them to uh, call me. I said, well, it don't really make no difference if they, don't process it, if they ain't processing no paperwork. And who you going to get to call me? Right. This shit crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that just doesn't make, you know, if you're unemployed and it's no fault of your own, which is the majority of the people in the country, I don't see how they can turn you down. Right. That's no the matter what the situation is. You see the excuses that they make it for, for 45 and pence when they don't wear those masks and stuff like that. Meanwhile, people just keep popping up around them that test positive for the virus. Nah, yeah. I'm going to fuck y'all up. I said this three days ago when the white media was arguing, because white media been arguing about that for a minute, Tori. I've I been watching, they been arguing about this. He just won't wear a mask. I said, these motherfuckers would. And every, look, almost every reporter if they not standing by themselves, they wearing a mask. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So look, I said, they serious about this mask shit and why he won't wear one. I said, watch this. I'm going to fuck y'all up. He asymptomatic. Watch. He probably giving it to everybody. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah, care. I, yeah, I, I believe that. Yeah. And you know, remember, when they test you, they said there's a lot of false positives and false negative tests. Right. So that being said, it's easy for him to be asymptomatic and they may not be picking up on it. Mm -hmm. And you know, if he asymptomatic, that means Melania definitely ain't going to get it. And this is the excuse that they also tried to give him. And I heard this one today. They, <laughs> they said the reason why 45 won't wear a mask is because it'll make it look like he's showing a sign of weakness. To his group or to his base, because well, you know I, the I, minute he put on that mask, then they were like, "Oh God, now you believe the hoax." Uh -huh. Yeah, but I saw um, an article yesterday that said he didn't want to wear a mask because he said it's not a good look. Like he looks good. Come on, not <laughs> on any mirrors. But that's what it said. He said it's not a good look for him to wear a mask. You saying the president wearing a mask and a good look? Mm -hmm. Did y'all see that billboard they put up in Times Square? No, uh, well, 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 shoot, Times Square isn't really popping right now. No, no, but they put this billboard up. It's called Trump Death Clock, and they just put it up recently. 
Here it is. Death clock. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're holding him responsible for all of the deaths in America because they said he handled the whole thing very badly. Hold on, let me share my oh, screen. He, oh, he most definitely did. All right, hold on. Yeah. I'll share my screen so you can see this billboard. And they, they're supposed to be changing it all the time as the deaths go up. God dang. Well, that's not, look, look let me be, um, there it is. Let me fight Uncle Ruckus. That's not fair. Mr. D President Donald Trump, good Donald Trump, sir. He has done a spectacular job. Ain't you heard his press conferences? He done kept it down from millions and millions of lives long. Yeah, but 1.2 million people, which we know is way higher than that, allegedly have tested positive in the country. It's 75,000, which we know is higher than that. Right. Mm -hmm. Has yeah. that. Because look, Lisa, thank you, Lisa. You know what you just did today? What's that? You put the sleep a myth. It's a lot of myths going around, niggas talking about. They say anybody who died dying of COVID. Yeah. Lisa folks just pa passed. She said no, wasn't COVID. No, that's what the nursing home is saying. I keep it's telling not. people, stop saying that shit because a lot of people die and it ain't a COVID. But COVID taking way more motherfuckers than trust me, these doctors ain't making up shit. They not used to saying if you used to saying maybe. 20 people die a year. Now you seeing it happen a day. Something wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I, I like that commercial they put out about Trump. There is mourning in America. <laughs> he had a fit. He had a meltdown on Twitter. He don't want to be the one responsible. I mean, this man. He brought up Obama again, I think, like a week ago, saying that I, Obama, he, well, he was trying to say Obama was responsible because, you know, uh, for the test not working. I said, that doesn't even make any sense. Lisa, I'm not even an Obama fan, but it pissed me off that he think I'm that stupid to think a motherfucker who wasn't even in office when this shit happened. Is responsible. Look, mm -hmm. how can I blame Barack Obama for having tests for some shit we didn't know existed? Yeah. Now you know you know how Trump is. He don't want to own anything, mm -hmm. even if it happens on his watch. He don't want to own this. They he said Obama had broken tests for this. No, he didn't have no tests for this. No, why? Because he didn't know that this shit was going to happen. Mm-hmm. And that's the thing. Like, when they went back and looked at, like, it's a whole timeline with 45 and how he mishandled us. Because he was warned. Well, let's go back three years. Let's go back to 2017, the year he was inaugurated. They gave him a multi-page document on how to deal with a pandemic. I think it was, like, 17 pages. What did he do? Toss it to the side. Mm -hmm. Three years later, or well, two years later, in 2019, in November, they warned him that they believed there was going to be some kind of virus that was, you know, that there's uh, some um, that there was a virus that has broken out and it's about to like really, really, like really hit hard. What did he do? Call it a hoax. Yeah. Then in January, when it, then in January, when it started to pick up some steam more so in China, they warned him again and he still ignored it. And now fast forward to March. Now it's here. And he's still on that same, oh, it's not going to be that bad. Oh, no. It'll be gone by Easter. Here yeah. we are. It's about to be Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. And we're still here. And it got worse. It sure so did. While he, so while he's not responsible for the virus getting out because we know where it came from, he is more responsible for ignoring this when he was warned and saying that it was a hoax and everything like that. So, I mean, that's just my take on it. Well, also, Tareen, if you remember, 
Obama had a specialized group to handle pandemics and Trump came in there and disbanded them. In the beginning now, of his presidency. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And another thing to the person sitting there saying, doctors is getting more money for this prescribing people less COVID-19. They don't have no test. How are they prescribing people COVID-19? You see doctors on TV saying, they don't even know. No. And look, the scientists are still finding stuff out about this virus. Just a week ago, they put out COVID toes, if y'all remember. Right. Exactly. And then another We're thing. About this thing. Then another thing for y'all with the doctors getting more money for saying people getting COVID-19. Um, bruh. At the same time, doctors is telling you not to come in if they think you COVID-19. So, again, if they getting more money, it's because there's so many people with COVID-19, they like, fuck that, look, we need some hazard pay. Because it's doctors that are dying. <laughs> Look, they should be giving hazard pay to every essential worker out here. Exactly. It's doctors and nurses dying, y'all. Dying. Think about this shit. I said, I said, damn, that's scary to me right there, Lisa. Mm -hmm. You go to the hospital and the people that's supposed to help you get healthy from this shit die from the shit that you gave. Yeah, yeah. How you doing, True Royal? Yeah, Armia Benton, I saw that on Phil. Michelle Obama said she's mad at black voters for um, not voting for Hillary. You know, this is the one time I can honestly say this. Michelle Obama can kiss my ass. Right. <laughs> yeah, Michelle, I, I ain't never had much bad to say about you because you ain't really bad. You said too much for me to have nothing bad to say about you. But right now, go on, sit your ass down. Do what you been doing. Not saying nothing for me. <laughs> nothing bad to say about you. Yeah. Please do that. Just do that. Just go somewhere. Do sometimes I'm like, if Hillary ain't got nothing to do with black people, and what was Hillary gonna offer us? Right. Except call us. More, except continue to call us super predators. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, so. Um, Michelle, I mean, Shelly Poo, you can, Shelly Poo, <laughs> oh, Shelly Poo, you can go on and, and eat ass on that one, baby. Mm -hmm. Visa yeah. ain't falling for that one, you can hit bottles and shit. Oh, and how, they gonna say, and how they gonna say it's our fault when I'm like, do any of these individuals, one, read an exit poll, or two, know how the electoral college works, right. Like Hillary didn't stand a chance either way. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, I mean, Hillary is just one of them people I never liked. She I, should be. I, I never liked her. her. That and her voice is about as deep as mine. She should be mad at all them racist gay white men that her husband allowed to get married and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Who voted for Trump? <laughs> yeah. Why she, look. Look, her husband ain't do nothing for black people for us to even vote to be, have be incentivized to vote for Hillary. Look, look we gonna think she gonna do more when he did nothing. So she she should be mad at her weak ass husband. Yeah, she should be mad at racist gay white men because they voted for Trump too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I mean, this is the one time I can honestly tell her to go to hell. Right. You know, it, it seems like any time the Democrats lose, they they got this pattern of always blaming black voters for everything. Yeah, because right. they because they always expect us to like hang off of their nutsack. Not this time. Uh, many people have been awakened mm -hmm. and are now aware to what to what they are doing. And then if we don't vote for them, here's the other thing they come with. You must be a Trump supporter. I said, you can't get me with that Jedi mind trick either. You need to try again. Try yeah, hard. No. Mm -hmm. Fuck no. What I'm going to vote for some idiot for. 
Yeah. Why would I support an idiot? I, there's no yeah. way I support a moron. Then, look at the choice you got. You got Jim Crow Joe. Or <laughs> Mr. Touchy Philly. <laughs> okay. Right. Exactly. Shit. Either way, uh, either way, I done lost. You know, that ain't much of a choice. Thank you. Because you, know you know his mind is fading away because you know they say he might have dementia. Mm -hmm. and, and every time they ask him a question... He starts answering it, and then he forget the question. <laughs> what the hell do you mean, Mike? Have you seen one of your videos, Tori? Oh. <laughs> one of your videos got Joe Biden, right? Uh, starting as one of the ads, and he's stuttering and step. Uh, it's like he didn't know he was even recording. Oh, how you doing? I, I, I'm Joe Biden. Uh, I wanted to say hi. I said, oh, this motherfucker going to be the president? Mm -hmm. Damn. Mm -hmm. I but, I will say, but I will say Remember this. What said back in 2019, he said the problem with black parents is they can't read. <laughs> he got a lot of nerve. <laughs> I know, right? But one thing I will think one thing I will applaud him on, even though we already knew about this is how much he has really even more exposed the Me Too heifers and how they will come to bat for this man with all the what? allegations against him. But they, they, will, they, they will do, go, no. but they will go after Bill Cosby like as if he is like the last being on earth and they got to get rid of him. But they'll let him slide because they don't like Trump. Yeah, well, I saw that video you did on Tarana Burke. Oh, oh, Crater Face Crunch Bar? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. That, wow, man. Oh, Lord. So, look. I don't know I why that woman walk around like that. Do you know how easy it is to get rid of them craters on her face? But no, Lisa. She, don't even, she ain't even trying to get rid of But that stuff is really not. I knew a couple of people. I went to school. It wasn't as severe as hers. But they were able to get rid of it completely. Man, KRS, she got you know, a man. And it's, so, and it's so sad because she loves to take close up pictures. I'm like, whoa, zoom out, please. Yeah. And I, think, I think the worst part of that face is them craters all over her nose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That, that's a spooky honker she got there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I said, well, I said, who is her dad? Snuffleupagus? She's she got a spooky honker on her baby. Good <laughs> Lord. Yeah, she do have a big one. Isn't she engaged? Yeah, I see. I think that. she may. I, I, listen, I'm going to be honest. I think she drugged that man. <laughs> <You're right. 'Cause laughs> no man uh -huh. who is not under the influence of some kind of substance would ever propose to her. Considering not only not so much of her physical appearance, but because of her her nature, because of her history and what she's been known to attach herself to. I what already did say it's not her place to go after white men. Right. That's why a lot of people thought if she was to ever get with somebody that, that that's why people were shocked that the guy that she's with is black. That's why people were so shocked about that. I know. I see. You ain't even let me expound upon that, nephew. Yeah, and let me tell you where that what that brother is. A simp. No, not just that, but he fresh out the joint. Yeah, fresh. he did look he did look like <laughs> he, looked like he did just walk off the wall, out the He did look like he just came off a of cell block nine. He, yeah, did. Like, he got a little parole going, you know, Toronto <laughs> got hurt. Yeah, he needed a place to lay his head. Play. Yeah. You know, he had been, you know, she had been on her prison Christian mangle, and uh <laughs> she met him. You know, Christian Mangle wasn't working. Prison Mangle was. And <laughs> Slim was just about to get out. She was on her Me Too thing. He told, you know, she was like, she's an activist. He was like, you know, he, you know what I'm saying? He's she a carjack artist. She and, was on prisonpinpal.com. There you go. Right. And he's a former bass head. And she thought that meant he played guitar. No, he's not that kind of bass head. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Listen, oh, she thought that meant that that band was a guitarist because he said 
He was a carjack artist and former bass head. Wow. <laughs> mm. said, wow, how long have you been playing the guitar? Oh, uh, what? No, oh, okay. Why he's he scratching out? himself. Damn mm. right. Yeah, well, I wasn't expecting much from her anyway. Right. You know, to be honest with you, I'm not surprised that she takes that stand. And speaking, and sp oh, and this has just been an interesting week for for uh, for Coonets getting their wake up call. Let's talk about Stacey Dash. Oh, and her, yeah, and her, yeah. and her, and her fourth divorce. Yeah, I'm well, just shocked. I mean, that, I'm just shocked I mean, it didn't happen. It four times. It's her. She's yep. the problem. It's her. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you. Just like how you said about Halle Berry. Yep. Same way with Stacey Dash. These coon winches, they look, they is they get they can get a zaddy because how they look, mm -hmm. but after a while, you know, zaddy gets tired of them. Exactly. And the thing is, I'm like I said, I was surprised that it didn't happen sooner because you know, I know it's stemming from that domestic dispute that happened back in October. She was up there fighting the whole house. She was fighting his daughter, or was it his daughter and him? But who goes to jail? Her. Yep. She got the mug shot. And see, the difference no. between her and Halle Berry is that Halle Berry still has a career. Stacey Dash does not. She burned mm -hmm. every, that woman literally burned every bridge that she crossed. Like, how do you right. do that? Like you was a good actress, though. <laughs> like, <laughs> Clueless, Clueless literally defines her real life. Exactly. I must admit, she wasn't a good actress. You was just there on Clueless. She had more words on more money than she did Clueless. <laughs> she had more words on motherfucking uh, moving with Richard Pry than she did on Clueless. Yeah. Ain't that, that's about the end of Stacey Dash's portfolio, man. Moving with Richard Pry. Clueless, and um, I remember she was. In, I remember she was in an episode of Fresh Prince. She was in a few episodes of the game. Then after that, oh no, she was in that All Falls Down video with Kanye back in the Kunye. day. Kunye, yeah. <laughs> Kunye, yeah, yeah. And then after that, she went to Fox News where Roger Ailes referred to her, and these are his words: "That black girl, that black one." Mm-hmm. It is that. Not only did he not call her by name, but he had he didn't even address her as a woman. He called her a girl. Mm -hmm. I said those were one of his final words before he died. I'm like, sheesh. He said he addressed the that white chick by her name, and he said, and that black girl. He was referring to Stacey <laughs> Dash. And the next thing you know, Roger Ailes is dead. I'm like, sheesh. Those are his last words towards her. Mm -hmm. That black girl. I laughed so hard when he said that, and that's when Stacey Dash was on her way out the door herself. Right, man. I remember when she got fired. Twitter, black Twitter, must have dragged her ass from one. End. I know I did. Oh, I know that, was, I did. that was brutal. <laughs> and I remember when she got uh, arrested for that domestic violence. She got classified yeah. as white. Yeah. <laughs> was nice. like, oh man, I'm white. Yeah. Yeah, mentally she might have thought she was, yeah. but you know, remember when they arrested Tiger Woods? They put black on that thing. They didn't put no cablation and all that crap he used to talk. Uh, right. They didn't call him that. They just put one thing and one thing only black. Yep, they said B. He said white. She uh, look. You went to jail. You was white. Look, Kurt Cobain was dead when they found <laughs> him with that other. What found him with Courtney Love? Kurt Cobain was dead. Mm -hmm. That and ain't nobody go to jail. Mm -hmm. Now, when, when Michael Jackson died, Conrad Murray got found with him. Now he might have did Zaddy's bidding, but he went to jail. Sure. My point. Did. My point is this: you know, you ain't white. Because you went to jail. <laughs> yep. The world, listen, the world hated Conrad Murray. 
after that came out. They hated him. They probably put him in jail for his own safety because Michael Jackson fans don't play. They do not play. Like they on they on a they on a global they on a global scale. They was ready to come after Conrad Murray. They said, you know what? Right. We know you ain't do it, but just say you're guilty and we'll throw you in jail just for a little bit. Let the fire die down. So we can keep you safe and then we're going to sneak you out the back door in about two years. Mm -hmm. But, you know, and yeah, you're right. Diamond and Silk, uh, Craig J. They were just oh, they were just last week. Yeah, they was them just last them them last them week. Hey, look, they, look, now they really can't get through the unemployment because they was fired and it ain't had nothing to do with COVID. <laughs> you're right about that. And they so too were a product of that. they too were a product of Fox News. Yes, they were. And and remember, they even gave David Clark the axe. That's why yeah. I was like, why do y'all black folks keep going over there? They right. never keep y'all. What David what David Clark doing now? Damn up nothing. Well, he yeah, because yeah, he got his blue check revoked off of Twitter. You know, they snatched that blue check away from him. Or was it was last year because he just kept right. talking reckless. Well, he was out there telling people to go back out in public, reopen the schools, and and I think Twitter suspended his account. Mm -hmm. And he which, got all upset about that. Which leads us to the coonstress, Ooh. Candace Owens. Oh uh, man, they took her job. You, yeah, they yeah they got her. They took her. I I think her account is still up, but she can't use it. So basically, she was saying the same thing. Well, but it was for the people that was in Michigan saying that. It's 10 million people up there to basically defy the orders that the governor put down that they can go out there and do what they want. They said, uh uh, with well, Twitter's like, nope, we're gonna snatch that away. And then, of course, she did the typical thing of, well, this is a violation of freedom of speech. She even had Donald Trump Jr. come out and try to defend her. One of the guys who's over that turning point USA that she's no longer at come out defend her and say it was a violation of freedom of speech. I said, let me tell y'all something Twitter is a privately owned company, they're not public. So they can make their own rules. And if you violate their guidelines, they will remove you. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. But see, They love to throw around that freedom of speech and that First Amendment so much that they don't read the entire thing. For them, it's just I can say what I want and you can't say nothing back. They I said said, they said and you can still say what you say. You just don't you just don't have the right to say it on their platform. Right. Exactly. Yeah. No, you see, that's the fuck that that I even know that. I, that's why I never talk that man. Freedom of speech, no. No, it's, it's mostly freedom. it's mostly um white people and people like her that say that, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you know they're not even allowing those protest videos on YouTube. If you're mm -hmm. protesting the stay at home. They snatch. They're snatching those things. Yeah, down. they snatching that shit. It's a lot of that shit. I tell niggas stop talking like that. That's why I tell. It, pretty soon they're gonna start taking niggas' profiles. You keep. They gonna pretty soon they not gonna let you start putting no shit up like that about COVID. Cause mm -hmm. too many people are dying. People think it's a game. I told people, man, motherfuckers is too many people dying for them to be playing. They serious about that. And you better start being serious too. Cause like I said, when white folks get scared, I get scared. Cause they'll do anything when they get scared. Oh yeah. Anything. Look, mm -hmm. did you see the Alex Jones joint they were showing? He was talking one, about eating, eating ass, eating ass, that one. Yeah, he would that. eat his neighbor and oh, shit. Neighbor. Thank you, Lisa. If it comes down to it, I'll eat my neighbor, man. I'll eat my neighbor. Yeah. This is the shit I said. I said, now I know he's full of shit, but just the fact that he'll say that, I and I know it. there's other white folks that really will. You know what, Alex? If you really get that leg portion, they know. Mm. I'm trying to tell you, they when they get scared, the, right now, all they are. It's just cabin. All they got is cabin fever. And they rioting. Mm -hmm. That that guy, he 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 he's something. He's something. I don't know what it is. I don't know what dwells in his in his head. I don't listen. <laughs> in well, his March, 
Tareen, back in March, they had to get him, you know, make him take down some advertisement. He had this toothpaste out and said his toothpaste, um, I think he said it prevented COVID-19. And he was selling this toothpaste and they had to make him stop. I wonder how many he sold and how many people bought it. Like what, you know. Because I, I know people probably bought it because oh, of who no. he is. Yeah, you know they did. <laughs> now, of all the stupid of all, when the first thing I would like is, as a human being, the first thing you should have said was, toothpaste never cured anything. Not as shit outside of a cavity. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna wake up and ain't got no teeth. Yeah, any of them, and many of them probably don't even have any teeth to begin with, because most of them probably from the trailer park. You know, they only got like three teeth. Right. Like, what you doing? Buy some toothpaste. Mm -hmm. When they go, when you go to the dentist, they don't even give you toothpaste as a medicine. <laughs> Come on. That's what he was selling it as. He said his toothpaste um, could. Prevent COVID nineteen, and I guess he got out there trying to sell that shit, and they shut him down. I bet they did. They 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 they, they sick of him. They tired of him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you want to know who really pissed me off this week? And as a matter of fact, this person pisses me off every time they open up their mouth. And I hate to bring it up. And the thing is, I said I won't do a video, and I'm not going to because I refuse to raise my blood pressure when it comes to talking about this person. And that is the free Willy wannabe Jason Whitlock. Oh, no. I, I oh. really did, did a video on him today. I'm like, Didn't where do you find what kind of logic do you have? Well, he doesn't have any. So that's like a rhetorical question. So I'm not going to ask it. Well, you know he said that LeBron James is addicted to fame as like cocaine before. So this one now, because LeBron said something about the man Java, he's just doing that to be greater than Michael Jordan off the court. We know? Like, where in the world? How in the world did you get Michael Jordan into an, a, a statement that had nothing to do with Michael Jordan? Because talking bad about LeBron James is a big business. Hmm. They lit him up in the comment section. I because I don't go to his page, but when I saw that they lit him up in that comment section under in his uh after he made that tweet, it's like it's like your your little stick that you got going on. People have become aware of it going all the way back to when you stayed trying to go in on Colin Kaepernick a few years ago. Like it's old. And I had put this tweet out on Twitter the other day when I found out like what he had said. I said if there was a lynching of Jason Whitlock, one of two things is going to happen. Either the rope is going to snap or the tree is going to snap because his fat ass ain't going to just dangle from that tree because he first off, he ain't got no neck and he's big as a house. And if he happened to fall from said tree, he's not just going to land on the ground. He's going to fall through the ground and penetrate the core of the earth. And we all going to fall out of the solar system. And now, was he a football player? No, he used to play in high school. So how did he get to be a commentator? Sucking dick and kissing ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was about to say. I was about to say, I thought Torian was going to say one of those two things was one thing for sure. If they lynched him, he would thank him for the lynching. Somebody said that on Twitter the other day. Somebody he, said that. <laughs> he would tie the rope around his own neck and say, hold on, boss. Let me help you with that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. This is this is a sellout for no reason. Well, Look, no, is, has he ever more. seen has he ever seen a killing of a black man that he thought was just too far? Uh, well, LVZ, you missing one thing. Well, the tray of chicken for Jason Whitlock. 
Oh shit! He, <laughs> you know why? He, 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 all, he ate all the chicken, the bones, and, and the tray, and the tray, and the chicken. <laughs> and the chicken. <laughs> he ate the chicken. He ate the tray and the chicken. This, this fat motherfucker. This for no reason, man. This cooling for no reason. It was no reason to do that. Just he got to say something bad about LeBron. Mm-hmm. You got to say something bad about any black athlete that he can possibly find whenever they're talking about the injustices that black people face. Like LeBron posted a tweet about Ahmaud Arbery. And what does he do? The tweet didn't even last, wasn't up that long before he retweeted it and said that. Th- what did he I can't remember what he said. It had nothing to do with what he said. Huh? This is shit staring. This yes. don't help. This is race baiting. And then threw something in there about Michael Jordan. We was like, what does Michael Jordan have to do with this? He wasn't talking about Michael Jordan. Mm-hmm. That was the problem. He wasn't talking about Zaddy J. He just mad because he can't even fit into a pair of J's. I bet, he, I, bet, I bet his foot looks like Sherman Clump. And I'm not talking about his foot. I'm talking about his whole body. Mm-hmm. Oh, LVZ. Yeah. I saw you did a video on those people that were outside waiting to get in there to buy Nikes. Come on, man. That's that's what we need right now, Listen. Listen. <laughs> we need a pair of Jordans right now. A <laughs> pair of J's. No. You know, you when know. I thought I was I was I was shocked, but then I wasn't, you know? I mean, first of all, why would you need a pair of Jordans and you gray go right in the house? I guess they're going to keep them clean because you can't go nowhere with it. Yeah. Um, thank you, Lorraine Sims, for the super sticker. Yeah, you know? These were for seriously, they risking life and limb for some joy. Your life ain't worth a pair of Ed Jordans. I, I shouldn't have to say shit like that. Yeah. People in mm-hmm. and y'all stop laughing at Jason Whitlock's. I man. just realized you changed. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized you changed the face. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, that's not flattering at <laughs> all. <laughs> He got man titties and everything. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is him every time. Oh my God. This is him every time he sees an all white uh, cast on TV. That's what he does. He does that right there. It's an interchangeable body. You can even put um, Roland Martin's head up on there. I right. did that one time too. You know, it's interchangeable. And see with Roland Martin, at least the chicken won't be dry because for all that curl activated he has in his head is going to dripple down the back of the chicken. And there's your and there's your base. Exactly. And this big fat motherfucker eat chicken, tray, all the I thought I saw some curls on the tray. <laughs> he was eating chicken when he tweeted that shit. When he read that's it. <laughs> LeBron James said, what? Hold on. <laughs> he, uh, he hold the whole chicken like it's one drumstick. Right. <laughs> he has it. He wheels chickens like, like, like they're pieces of chicken. Wow. I wonder what he did, you know, when the meat packing plants closed down, you know? He went down he'll, there. He'll get out and chicken. protest that. <laughs> yeah, he did. That's why he, that he is a Trump supporter, probably. Mm-hmm. And every time he talked, he huffing and puffing like he had a long walk. Yeah, I bet if he did, I bet it, I bet it's a struggle for him to even attempt to do one jumping jack. A jumping jack. He <laughs> <laughs> can't do no jumping, Jill. <laughs> <laughs> You talk about a jumping jack. <laughs> <laughs> a jumping Jill. <laughs> that big motherfucker. Shit. 
And he said he live in an apartment or a penthouse or something like I that. I feel bad for the people that got to live next to him. Exactly. Big fat I feel bad for the people that got to live beneath him. Yeah, can you imagine hearing the, the ceiling vibrate every time he walks and across the floor? Because right. you, you'd be like, I don't know. This might be the day when he fall through and this might be <laughs> it. <laughs> Lee was like, hold on. Demolition day. They could have gave us a warning. Yeah. Wow. Then this big fat ass he got on barefoot. All you hear is them big fat ass feet sliding across. Shh. Did that fat motherfucker go to the refrigerator again? <laughs> right. I bet he was one of them kids that the parents had to put a padlock on the refrigerator. Well, it didn't work. Look at him. <laughs> right. See, like, well, I was that's, 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 lock. And that's the thing. He's like, okay, fine. Well, if I can't get inside the refrigerator, I'll just pick this thing up and I'll eat the refrigerator. Nah. What he did was one day he locked himself inside. <laughs> locked himself in the refrigerator. I know what to do. Every night around eight, mom locks the refrigerator. She wakes up and <laughs> tries to make us breakfast. She wake up, Jason's fat ass, and then Jason. You done done it again. Right. With mama. Then you know he's from Kansas City. They done made all that Kansas City barbecue. He's sitting over there half a hog on his plate. Oh, Got all that swine. He's a coon who's from Kansas. Right. <laughs> ha ha he from Kansas City. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kansas City. I mean, shouts out to the real ones from Kansas City, but you know y'all got some corn-fed coons out there that love massa. Corn-fed. That man ate everything that has corn in it. Corn bread, corn fields, corn starch, mm -hmm. the corn on your toes. Mm -hmm. He said he has no... He He's not married. Not no surprise there. He probably ate her. <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, well, Lisa, his wife. Well, if he was married, it was probably a blow up doll mm -hmm. in which he ate it. And a if it had doll. helium in it, that's why he blew up. A white doll. Nah. Yep. The doll left because his chest stink. <laughs> <laughs> the doll left said his office chest stink. <laughs> He'll never wash his ass because, you know, he's a big dude. He can't wash his back good. <laughs> right. He can't even fit in his tub. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Damn, what does this dude weigh? 350, 375? That, uh, they don't which, let you well, see him which, no more. Hold on, of which body part? Because that's not the whole body. That's probably his leg. <laughs> wow. I about to say, Lisa, they don't let you see him no more. Now... Oh. Every TV show even have him behind a real high desk and his seat low. So all you can see is his man boobs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is he still wearing that fedora? Yep. He wear that so you won't look at his boobs. Because <laughs> you know that fedora cannot fit his head. All no, it takes is one big gust of wind and that thing will plop right up off his head. Exactly, but it takes the attention of the fact that no shirt fits him. <laughs> well, yeah, True Royal wrote, COVID-19 found in men's semen. It does transmit sexually. Wow. Dang. COVID babies, huh? Niggas out there hitting girls with that COVID. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I already saw what the COVID toes look like. I'd be afraid to see that. Oh, yeah. Uh, that discharge going to be looking kind of nasty. Mm -hmm. Got that right. <laughs> but I was, man, I was, ew, when I looked at some of those COVID toes, oh, man. Look. Lisa, now, I ain't wearing no condom. Fuck the car. <laughs> 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 I 
ain't scared of COVID. I ain't wearing no condom, nigga. <laughs> no, Jason Whitlock. No, I ain't wearing no condom. I ain't wearing none of that. I want my chicken raw. <laughs> <laughs> Island, <laughs> you want your chicken roasted, and that's what you want. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm, I tell you what, COVID got all that Popeye's chicken shit out of the news. Thank God, yeah, because you can't go. Look, I drove by one uh, today, Tory in our Virginia. Mm -hmm. That Joe had the sign up. It said the sandwich. Nobody was out there saying, yeah, the virus. <laughs> mm -hmm. Fuck that sandwich. Ain't nobody. Look, right. only place is popping is the grocery store. Grocery store like the club now, at least. You right about that. You got to get checked to get in and shit. It's a long ass line. You right. <laughs> yes. For any of those who have been quarantined shopping so far, like I said, I went to Wegmans the other day for the first time going to Wegmans. And a lot of ago? Oh, no, no, no. I went to the, it was the one in Alexandria. Oh, okay. That one too. You gotta stand outside. Yeah, now yeah, and the, the line actually went pretty fast. I thought because the line was wrapped almost with halfway around the building. And I thought I was gonna be here all day, but the line went really fast. Got up in there, it was almost like checkpoints. So it's like boom, you get your cart, you gotta stop by, get the wipe, wipe off the handlebar, then go to the other side and get some hand sanitizer, and then you start shopping. Then you gotta wait in another line just to get to the aisle lines, and they blink the lights to let you know when you could come in. It's like a checkpoint. And then you have to put the stuff on the conveyor belt and then push your cart up. The cashier puts the stuff in the cart and then you pay and then you leave. But look, see this, but this is see Torian, you was too direct. Let me give everybody ambiance to the inside of the club who ain't been to the club. The new club, which is the Wegmans or the BJ's or the Costco or any other grocery store. Watch this. So you stand in the line, you gotta have your mask or you can't get in. That's like the shoes now. Remember yep. back in the day you couldn't get yeah, in the club because of the yep. shoes? Exactly. You, you ain't got your mask, nigga. So you got to do Hold on, same thing with the shirt. Same thing with the shirt. You couldn't have on an all white tee. Right. Yeah. You got to have, yeah. So you got to be, yeah. You got to have your mask, my nigga. Or you ain't getting in the club. Then it's people handing out favors like carts. You know what I'm saying? Then it's people try to walk through the security talking to you. Then they let you in. Now you looking in line. Everybody here is messed up except the girls who really know how to braid and had weave on stash. The girls with weave on stash hair still on fleek and, and they got their mask on. Now you got to tell if a girl is fine from eyebrows to no bridge, top of the bridge of the nose. And the, and the hair game, you're going to have to excuse, fellas. But the sisters is looking nice, Lisa. They dressed up. They went. They fresh. They got all they fly stuff on. And the brothers is coming in. They cleaned up. Hair nappy in a motherfucker. No shape ups because there ain't no barber shops open. But they wearing their best clothes <laughs> to the grocery store. Wow. You know what I'm realizing? That. I said, God damn, this shit becoming the club. Even old folks hanging out at this club too. They just sit there parlaying and this shit. Uh -huh. And depending on what side of town you go to the club, you know they got different music. On the white side of town, they got rock music playing. In DC, where I used to live at, they used to play R and B music. Now it's gentrified. Ain't shit but rock music. I wanted to cry. I just walked out of that grocery store, came back home to my grocery store where they playing motherfucker. Patty LaBelle, go on, is it? go on and buy you a grapefruit, baby. What's They're up? They're not baby? playing the go go music anymore. They nah, well, they ain't play too much go go in that because you can't play no damn go go music in no uh grocery store. Fight yeah. my. Yeah, you heard about that? Because I can't remember the last time I went into a store and they played some go-go music. 
Right, a <laughs> fight will break out. Motherfuckers start dancing in the aisles. And shit. <laughs> they forget where they at. Shit, the DC you can't do that. Uh huh. And, and, and now they done gentrified it. White folks will be confused. Well, did you ever see uh, Kellyanne Conway again? No, you know, Kellyanne Conway, she starts shopping Instacart now. She don't. <laughs> she, don't want to see. she is not. I just scared that woman out of every grocery store. The con artist, Kellyanne Con artist. Uh huh. Yep. <laughs> Mm-mm. Yeah, and her husband can't stand Trump. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, he can't because he's like, damn, I'm just a regular racist, but you're a racist and a moron. You're making the racist look bad. Mm-hmm. Wow. Man, if you don't get no unemployment check, though, y'all, it's two people fault Mitch McConnell and your governor because he's full of shit. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Two people. Miss McConnell is the first one. Miss he don't want to say he don't want to bail out nobody. He don't want to bail out Jersey. He don't want to bail out New York. He don't want to bail out Maryland. He want to. He want to bail. He want to bail out Kentucky though. Port. Yeah. Man, Kentucky. Clantucky. Mm-hmm. Bruh, how the hell are you gonna bail out a state we've been bailing out anyway? Just right. like us. Uh, just like Cuomo broke down. All the money they take out the government anyway for that welfare state that they call Kentucky, them motherfuckers owe us money. They owe our states money. When I read up on how much money Kentucky had received for a what was a three year period from 2015 to 2018, I was like, whoa! They got the most government aid out of any state in America. They got $148 billion over a three-year period. And the only states that came behind them was D.C., I'm sorry, uh, Maryland and Virginia, and that's only because of our proximity to D.C. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, you look over at Owsley County, Kentucky. Woo! Now talk about a place that needs to have a meteorite crash into it. Mm-hmm. Or an asteroid. <laughs> wow. Okay. Man. But yeah, Mitch McConnell is trying to set it up. If you get COVID from your job, you can't sue them. That's what he's trying to put in place. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because they know because they know because they, they know people are gonna get sick like crazy, you know, they go back to work and people are gonna want to take lawsuits out. And he ain't trying to get that money out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you go back to work and die, that's your fault. And and Mitch McConnell looks creepy. Have you heard him laugh? Yes. I swear. They be talking about Kawhi Leonard and shit. Then yeah, they, think, yeah, they, think, yeah, they think Kawhi Leonard got a weird laugh. This yeah. man yeah, right here is like Kawhi Leonard. Laugh. Can you imagine? He all the like that. that like that you know remember when all that mess came out about his family having slaves it also said that them slaves were running away from that family a lot damn right <laughs> if they if they look like him i can see yeah. i can see I'm why <laughs> little possessed chucky doll looking motherfuckers when you run away too and here's the thing. You can look up any picture online of Mitch McConnell and every last one of them look weird. And I mean, every last one of them look weird. Yeah. Sorry, and- how, how do you change your face? It's, look, that's the fucked up thing about being ugly or di- fucked up in the face. You can't do nothing about that, man. It is what it damn is. And, and- <laughs> Is when you look at pictures of him, even when he was younger, it was no better. It he was worse. Yeah, it was no better when he was younger. You was like, damn. And I said the lines. And I said the lines on the side of his face make him look like a ventriloquist doll. Mm-hmm. You was like, right, like Slappy from Goosebumps. He do look like that old ass puppet that's gonna come haunt you and shit. Yeah, oh, oh that's the, that's what I was. He, that's what he is. He's like the male Annabelle. <laughs> yeah, Annabelle. <laughs> oh, 
man. Wow. That was like the Annabelle doll out there. Mm-hmm. That's why he been in Senate so long. <laughs> he can't die. Right. Mm-mm-mm. And then where he go? Where he going and marry a coaster? Look at his wife. What is his wife? Coaster. They Coaster. say he's a crook. Aren't they yeah. all? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, they said his wife is a big time crook. This is still a draws off you. You don't even know you got him. What the fuck? Where did that draft come from? Mitch McConnell wife that got me. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. you, you, you duck sauce slanging bitch you. Wow. <laughs> yeah. All right, y'all. We're going to go ahead and conclude. Okay. Thank you, Kareem right. and LVZ, for being on the panel. Thank you for having me, sis. Thanks for having us on. No, this was yeah. fun. And yeah. funny. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, Annabelle. It's right in there, Annabelle. <laughs> you know, hey, the, the, y'all know domestic violence is up in the country, you know? Oh, yeah, because they, they, because listen, they tired of being around each other 24 7. They can't go to work. They, they can't go to work. They can't go see their side piece. None of that. Uh, yeah, they, they in the house all day long going anime, eat the cake. <laughs> right. Yeah. And, their kids, and their kids driving them crazy. That's another thing. They can't they gotta be around their kids. They can't send them to that daycare center known no, as school. Sure can't get rid of them. I remember that. <laughs> I remember that black woman uh, Phil had on his uh video. She was like, I'm sick of these motherfucking kids. <laughs> I, <mean laughs> I appreciate listen, I appreciate her honesty. as ratchet as it was, I appreciate her honesty. Because yeah. many are not going to have the boldness to come out and say what she said. <laughs> she kept calling him Donald Trump. Look here, yeah. Donald Trump. <laughs> Donald Trump. Yeah. Donald I know. Sure. I look. I can't say nothing. All my son do is play the video game. I barely see this Negro. This. <laughs> I gotta make him eat. He don't want to eat either. I'm not hungry. Are you sure? And they said that the school's going to be closed for the rest of the year. I bet you them parents wish they could have found a high window to leap out of mm-hmm. when they heard that. They My biggest that thing is going to be closed for the rest of the year in 47 yeah. states. Yeah. They probably be like, well, those three other states, we need to find a way to send our kids to them schools. We'll, we'll switch our address and everything. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. I said, my biggest problem is what is trying to figure out how to do that Zoom bullshit so that he can see his teachers. Other than that, we good. He do his work. He cut that motherfucker off. And I don't see Jay Boss for about three days. <laughs> 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 uh-huh. Man, I tell you, it, this is going to be an interesting year, y'all. I have a feeling December is going to look very, very different from what it looks like in May. No bull. Yeah. No. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. This year is going to be like, oh, Christmas is Christmas is canceled this year. Yeah, it's canceled. Hey, you look, gonna, you're just going to enjoy family. That's it. Look, everybody going to look like me this Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-huh. You said what we're gonna do this year is we're gonna wrap we're gonna we're gonna find some stuff around the house and we're gonna wrap it up in this newspaper and we're gonna give it to you. Right. That way it can feel like Christmas. We all gonna go out there and we're gonna go pick some leaves off the tree, and then that's gonna be your tree. And we're gonna throw a little cherry on there, and that's gonna be the ornament. Mm-hmm. White folk gonna have them out there. White folk gonna have them out there on Christmas and Halloween, especially Halloween. Talk about see you got your mask on right now. Exactly. Oh yes, everybody gonna have the same costume. We all gonna be dressed up. We all be dressed up like we don't want to get the virus. That's gonna, gonna be too. that's gonna be the costume this year. Everybody costume gonna be that Rona, Lisa. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna look. It's gonna be little kids social distance trick or treat. They gonna throw something at your window and you gotta throw the candy at them and shit. <laughs> 
there will be no Thanksgiving this year. And with the meat shortage, you can't even have a turkey sandwich. Well, with the meat shortage, that's why I was saying I'm not even sure if people can even do Memorial Day. Right. How are they going to do that? Yep, no cookout. Oh, oh, wait till the fourth, though. Man, it's not, it's, you're not going to hear much uh, fireworks this year. You, probably, you might hear some gunshots. You can always hear that. But as far as like fireworks and stuff, you can forget it. Man, y'all motherfuckers crazy. I, I love you. I love y'all, my brother, and my sister. But before we leave, let me make sure I let y'all know that I will never underestimate the powers of crazy niggas. It will be niggas out this joint. Christmas shopping for the trees with motherfucking COVID mask on. Talking about it was Jesus, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I'm no. telling you. No. Yeah, because you're right about that. Because how much you want to bet when Easter passed? There's a lot of people out there that had on their three piece suit. It was. And them big, and them big fruit basket hats. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Being bedside Baptist. Yeah, well, you know what they say. You know they'll have the big Christmas tree. What did what did they've been saying for years now? Jesus is the reason for the season. We about to mm-hmm. find out if that's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker be dead as shit under that Christmas tree coughing. You <laughs> gonna be under the Christmas tree coughing like a motherfucker trying to drink the. No. Try and drink some of the pine needle water. Talk about Donald Trump saying Christmas tree juice. <laughs> <laughs> what would do that? He said Christmas tree water saves you from the coronavirus. Yeah, and they'll probably be drinking it and, and probably pass out from it. And they're gonna be like, there will be no hanging up of Christmas lights this year. If you want to see blinking lights, you better turn the lights on and off in your house. Just flick them up and down in a rhythmic tone, and that's and there it is. But we only gonna do it for like a minute because light bills is too daggone high, and we are currently going into a depression. Mm-hmm. Right. I ain't gonna be depressed. I'm be laughing at all these dead white folks smelling like pine saw. <laughs> From drinking pine <laughs> saw, drinking pine saw baths. <laughs> Why are these crackers drinking? They and, and, that's the, and, that's the thing, and that's the other thing. They since they <laughs> they won't be able to go to a place where they can get into a hot tub with bubbles. So what they're gonna do is they gonna take it and fill it up with some coke and throw a mentos in that thing and say, "Boom, there's right. your bubble bath." Mm. Man, Tori, I'm selling Christmas trees with straws and <laughs> tell them that Donald Trump said <laughs> Christmas tree water. Kills the coronavirus. You know, white folk will be <laughs> that would work. That tissue. would work. Be on your Peter Pop off because that's what he be talking about. He be saying if you drink this this miracle this miracle water, it'll cure all your ills. It'll get rid of all your debt. It'll cure all your aches and pains. <laughs> I'm telling you, and he'll say he was just being sarcastic. Christmas tree water, man. That Christmas tree water. <laughs> uh huh. Oh, man. All right, y'all. Well, I'm going to go ahead and conclude. Thank you for being here, everybody. All right. All right, y'all. Love y'all. And shalom. Peace, y'all. Shalom. All right. Peace.